Today we're joined by Farsad and we are in his favourite room, the kitchen. Absolutely. I spend more time here than pretty much anywhere else in the house. Yes, well, I can imagine. So why is this your favourite room? Oh, look, I've been cooking now for nearly 25 years and working TV going on 13. Wow. Um, but I still love to cook just yeah. for cooking sake. I mean, if you want to know just how much time I actually spent here, you see these floorboards? Yeah. They're normally dark, but here where I stand and cook, it's worn away to white and when I stand to wash up too. <laughs> I love that. So, what sets this apart from every other room in the house? Uh, stylistically open space. Um, yeah. One of the real keys to designing your kitchen is take the footprint you think you're going to want and yeah. add 30%. Even if you're not a massive foodie, there are three things we've learned in modern Australia. First is that the kitchen becomes a hub for where people gather. Yes. But secondly, with the style of cooking we're doing in Australia now, it does require a bit more bench space. Yeah. You also want to make sure you need your, your everyday appliances, knives, toasters, kettles, all that kind of stuff. That should all be out because yeah. you, you don't want to be getting that out of cupboards to use it. Uh, but as for the rest, lovely open clear space because mm. you don't want to have to clean every time you want to cook or prepare something. So exactly. It's yeah. not about creating a showroom, it's about making it more utilitarian. That's true, that's true. So what kind of feelings evoke from walking into this room? Uh, depending on what mood I'm in, sometimes it feels like a slog. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, look, most of the time I, I love coming to my kitchen. I really, yeah. I genuinely do. I, um, uh, I don't know, I guess I, I cook both for work, I do all my recipe testing for better homes and yeah. everywhere else here. Uh, but I also, I cook to relax, so if I yeah. if I just want to chill out, one of my favourite things to do is I'll put on a really crappy movie. My, the, I'm like, the Hunter Red October, best movie ever yeah, made. Yeah. My little computer here, <laughs> cooking away happily, life's good, you know. Yeah, yeah, so. and I guess it is also a hub for family life. It know? is, yeah, look, I mean, around this table, I mean, we have dinner here yeah. probably four nights out of seven. Yeah. Um, yeah, the kids do their homework here, Leah and I hang out here and have coffee, it's just, yeah. uh, I don't know, this is, this is kind of the heart and soul of the house. It's true, and it, you know, in summer it's beautiful, it opens out into your back deck. Mm. Oh yes, yeah. and the pizza the oven. The pizza yeah. oven, yeah. yes. Well actually the nice design principle here is that yeah. because the sliding window is so large, uh, not only do you get the airflow, but it's also yeah. servery. So what ah. we can do is, put a table out the back, set up ingredients, fire up the pizza oven, Yes. Uh, you know, entertain friends, it's great. Great. Okay, and lastly, what is your favourite piece in this kitchen? Do you mean appliances or do well, you mean design? Either. Well, look, for me, and I'm not biased, but I'm really biased. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I have had my stand mixer, this up little bit here, seven years. Yeah. Now, this thing just goes and goes <laughs> and goes. I know a lot of people do a lot of cooking, but this little yeah. beauty, I reckon this probably does. I would say seven to eight hours of work, full speed work a week, oh my every goodness. single week for seven years and it's never skipped a beat. There you go. So, I mean, I'm, I'm not paid to recommend these things, but I can tell you, you won't find a better bit of kitchen equipment. It's absolutely brilliant. So go and buy a KitchenAid sand mixer, that's yeah, what yeah, you're yeah. saying. So, <laughs> <laughs> no, look, no, really, it's, it's one of those things where it just transforms the way you yeah. cook because it, because it makes things so much easier. Yes. It encourages you yeah. to do more. When you're faced with complication, you usually go, Oh, I don't know, it's all too hard, but yeah. when things are easy, you go, I don't want any more. Yeah, so, that's true. Yeah. My only other thing which I really love in terms of this room, yeah. uh, and I'd recommend it for anyone who's doing a bit of reno, LED lights. Ah, now with yes. LEDs, you can get two tones, obviously warm and daylight cool. In your kitchen yeah. area, you definitely want daylight cool. Two right. reasons. Um, it allows you to see food for its true colours. Yes. So it's not tinted yellower than it would be in natural light. Sure. So you can see the way it's really going to present. But also go for more light than you could possibly imagine and put it yes. on two circuits. So we've got two lights that are directly over the central bench. So you can have it a bit more yeah. moody if you need. The rest of them go around the outside. Ah. So we have it show and lit. Yes. Well, nice and, kind of <laughs> and it's kind of handy when you're filming here, right? Well, yeah, it helps. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, thank you for showing us around today. Great pleasure. Thank awesome. You. Take it easy, guys. Bye.